I have uh, uh, four children and three little ones under 10 years old, so I'm kind of like any other parent, really, that way. When I go into the house, it's very much like um, the kids are watching cartoons and they kind of, you know, they're being kids. And, I mean, when you grow up and when children grow up, parents tend to play family kind of music if they're playing music. So if we're having dinner or something, we'll play like Frank Sinatra or Garth Brooks or you know, Elvis Presley or, you know, a kind of family music kind of thing, Marvin Gaye, you know, anything like that. So we kind of tend to play that stuff when we're at home with the family. Um, but then um, also my, my husband has his taste and I have my taste, but when you do have kids, they kind of take over the house. And um, it's very much like we don't always play our music, but when they're gone to bed, you know, sometimes my husband would play like he likes ACDC. But I like Depeche Mode, you know. He likes, um, let me see, um, he likes um, Aerosmith. And now I like Aerosmith. Now I like ACDC as well because over the years I, I started to get familiar with his music. And he came from the rock kind of background, you know, the big hair and the, the leather spandex, whatever, the spandex and the leather pants and all that kind of stuff. And whereas I came from the, uh, the late 80s when the Smiths were really big and the Cure and Depeche Mode and all these bands were coming out. But over the years, um, I have entered into his taste and he's entered into mine, you know, so that's nice because you kind of learn from each other too. And how about uh, the Cranberries? Do you listen to, to the old? Uh, I don't really listen to it, but I mean, I perform like um, some of the stuff. I'll, I'll always perform like Dreams and Linger and, uh, you know, the hits and stuff because that's a part of who I am. And when I was growing up, there's songs about my journey when I was growing up, different experiences I had, you know. And they're very personal to me and always will be. And when I sing those songs, it never gets stale, you know. Oh, to my family is always going to bring back that memory of that time when I was out there in America and the band got massive on the first album. Oh, to my family was written um, after on the second album. And it was more like I was really missing my, my family, you know. But I had no kids or anything at that stage. And, and also I was kind of working, 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 and I had no friends and no, no normality, no san sanity. And stuff. So, you know, Ode to My Family was a song where you're really missing your family. And I think everybody goes through this, the same journey in life. You know, everybody gets to 16 and they want to get away from their family and they want to find out who they are themselves and they rebel. And then after you rebel for a long time, maybe you miss your family eventually. And then you go back and, and then you start your own family maybe, you know. So it's kind of like going through circles that everybody else goes through. Uh. On your album, there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, folk music inspirations. Is uh, how important uh, is the folk music for you? The traditional Irish music. Um, well, it's not something I'd be really conscientious of. I wouldn't be going, oh, I have to put something in here. But the one song where um, there is an obvious um, folk instrument is the human spirit, and the reason that I did that was because when I was doing it with Dan. The guy that Dan Broadbeck was um, a guy that I worked with in Canada on the majority of the tracks while creating. And um, basically, I started playing the whistle on that, and it totally worked, majorly big. So I thought, um, it's gorgeous. I think it's really nice. But you know what? Give me a version without the whistle. So he gave me a version of it with no whistle, and it just didn't sound as good. So we kind of kept the whistle on. And there, and I think the rest of them then there's. Um, there is, if you can feel the Celtic thing, I think that comes from the fact that, you know, I, I am a Celt and I was raised in Ireland and, and I was raised in my Irish culture. So it's something that I'm very proud of being Irish and I'm, I'm proud of my culture. And it's great, like, if it, if you can kind of hear it in the music, you know, it's cool. Uh, tell me something about the first single, uh, is the song Ordinary Day? Yeah, it's it's um it was inspired by my two girls. I've two little girls now and I've I've two boys as well. Um but my um my baby, um, she's almost two. When she was born I was kinda of thinking that, you know, they grow up very quickly and I was thinking that it's beautiful but I know that the future is going to be challenging. So it's kind of you know, it's it's beautiful and happy but it's a little bit like, Oh, what's ahead, you know, what lies ahead, you know the story will unfold and whatnot, you know. So, um, you know, I think that, you know, eventually they'll always come home, like kids always come home and stuff like that. But going through the journey, sometimes it's a little difficult because you don't really know unless you've been there. So 
I've not been there yet, you know. 